This is Daily Armenia, CivilNet's daily news digest. Here's what you need to know today. Greek Foreign Minister Yorgos Gerapetritis is in Yerevan for meetings with his Armenian counterpart Ararat Mirzoyan and Prime Minister Pashinyan. At a press conference with Mirzoyan, Gerapetritis expressed Greece's support for Armenia's aspirations towards closer relations with the EU and its monitoring mission in Armenia. He endorsed the Armenian government's Crossroads of Peace project, calling it a realistic, justified, and sustainable solution to regional issues, highlighting the importance of demarcating borders to avoid future conflict. It was also announced that Greece will be supporting an aid program for those forcibly displaced from Nagorno-Karabakh, with a focus on providing them with proper accommodations. In addition, Greece calls for a UNESCO fact-finding mission on the ground in Karabakh to protect Christian sites there. For his part, Foreign Minister Mirzoyan noted certain regress in some parts of Azerbaijan's proposal for peace, while progress and others, and that a final peace must be based on fundamental principles including territorial integrity with no room for ambiguity. He also mentioned the importance of open transport links, as it is difficult to talk about peace while Armenia continues to be blockaded. The World Bank expects Armenia's GDP to grow by 4.7% in 2024 and by 4.5% in 2025, according to forecasts in its newly released Global Economic Prospects report. As for this past year, it estimates Armenia's economy grew 7.1%, which is 2.7% higher than its prior forecast for the year made in June. Minister of Economy Vahan Keropian has predicted last year's economic growth to be approximately 8.4%, and that the GDP per capita will amount to $8,280. The Republic of Armenia's state budget planned growth to be 7%, while its most recent estimate expects economic growth for 2023 to have been 8.3%. In the latest from Jerusalem, an electric barrier which had been in place since the developer took possession of the Cow's Garden property in April 2023 has finally been removed after months of resistance. The barrier was intended to regulate who was able to enter the property. However, according to members of the Armenian community, those who attended protests against the developer were being blocked from entering. In addition, the last bulldozer which was still present on the site for the purposes of clearing the land for development has also been removed. The Armenian community was told by the municipality to move their own protective barrier, which they placed in November, after the first in a series of attacks unleashed on them. However, a Jerusalem municipal court has ruled that they don't have to, as the Armenians have certain rights after having been in possession of the land for over a month, and an eviction will have to go through proper court channels contingent on whether the developer is found to be in legal possession of the land. The court also found that as a result, the local police have an obligation to protect the Armenian protesters, rather than removing them. Meanwhile, a communique from the Patriot announced today that Bishop Goryun Bakhtasaryan has filed a defamation suit against the developer, Danny Rothman, for accusations Rothman made when he appeared at the protest site to allegedly intimidate demonstrators in the first confrontation on November 5th. And now for something completely different, take a look at this recent footage of Bezor goats captured by a wildlife camera in the Khosro Forest State Reserve. These wild goats are a forerunner of the modern domesticated goat and are known for their uncanny ability to climb seemingly impossible cliffs. They are considered to be an endangered species in Armenia, with the World Wildlife Fund estimating there are about 3,000 left. It is believed they may have been worshipped in ancient times, as they are depicted in carved petroglyphs, and today are one of Armenia's signature wildlife species, along with mouflon sheep and gompa dogs. And finally, the civil net number of the day is 34,600. That's the number of tourists to Armenia recorded in 2023 from India, the fifth most for any country, coming in behind the United States. Many of those recorded as tourists may actually be migrant laborers, and the influx of Indian workers to Armenia has gotten a great deal of attention locally as a new phenomenon. And as always, please follow CivilNet for the latest news and independent reporting from our contributors on the ground here in Armenia.